Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you start throwing the pitchforks and start having a mob come in after me, listen to what I have to say. Toonami. I've always had a fondness for Toonami. It's definitely nostalgia, you know, back in the day when I was in elementary school, watching Tenchi Muyo, watching Dragon Ball Z. Toonami every day. Every day of my school life, I tuned on to Toonami because I love these shows. And then it was always great going to school and talking about the episode, you know, the next day to your friends. Like, oh, did you see Gohan? Oh, my God. Did you see Goku? He died. No. You got that Pikachu card? You know, I I love Toonami. I think it's great that Toonami's on, you know, Cartoon Network. You know, it's back. It was gone for a while. Now it's back again. Guess who's back? Back again, you know, on Saturday night, and they have a great lineup for anime. You got Kill a Kill, you got Naruto Shipping in, you got all these major players, right? One Piece, Girl and Logon, <coughs> excuse me, Dead Man Wonderland, Cowboy Bebop. I mean, Inuyasha. This is a strong lineup. This is the lineup you want to introduce general audience, you know, audiences too, but. A lot of people, you know, are saying, the A, you know, the numbers are not too good. You know, people are not tuning in as much as, you know, you would think, this and that. I've seen channels like For Never World. I've seen people talk about this, you know, how Toonami, what, what's the problem? Like, I believe For Never World's last um, video had to do with, you know, moving One Piece to a different time slot. So it'd be, what, I believe Dragon Ball Z and then One Piece? And it's Dragon Ball Z Kai, so it's not the original Dragon Ball Z one I saw in elementary school. It's about the same damn thing. But, <clears throat> except no filler. Um, honestly, you know, you, I, I've been thinking about it, and I probably this is probably not a you know, popular opinion, but it's my opinion, and I, I'm not afraid to speak it. Toonami struggles, and I think it's not doing as well, is because it's on a Saturday. It's on a Saturday night. It's not the, you know, the schedule is what's messing it all up. We have the TV, you know, TV program, the t television these days that, you know, kids watch and, you know, young adults watch are so different than what we used to watch, you know, in the 90s. Maybe like late, late, late 80s, no, nine, really 90s, 90s, no, then 2000s. It's different. You got Family Guy, you got American Dad, you got crude humor, you got cartoon cartoons. And then you have all these stupid shows like Zoe 101, Victorious, blah, 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 Nickelodeon stuff. It's not like it used to be with Rocco's Modern Life, these weird type cartoon shows that worked. I mean, of course, you know, I don't want to bash, you know, people who like Zoe 101 or Victorious and stuff. I mean, you're, 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 it's you like what you like, and that's fine, you know. Just if you like Nicki Minaj, slap yourself. <coughs> Sorry, slap yourself. Well, anyway, what I'm saying is basically this. Tsunami, I think, works in an everyday basis. This is why it worked back in the day, and this is why I think it's struggling now. These are kids, right? These are kids maybe in elementary to junior high, mostly elementary, that will watch these shows. But it's a Saturday night. It's late at night. And I know us, we're still watching it. But, you know, we have other things to do. We want people do go tend to go out, you know, probably put record their episodes, this and that. But we don't necessarily need to watch. We've seen these series over and over again. So it's Toonami should not be directed to the demographic of, you know, 18 and older. It should be directed to a little bit more younger, the 10 to 15-year-olds. Even maybe a little bit younger than now, 10 to 15-year-olds. The 10 to 15-year-old demographic, that's what Toonami should be going for because that's basically how old we were when we were back in the day watching this, even younger. Now, like I said, but they're going for the more mature audience, and these are mature anime, and I get that. I really get that. You know, these are very mature anime. Maybe you want to pull that Dead Man Wonderland. I'm not sure, but it's not uncut or anything. Maybe sometimes, but it's not uncut. I think that 
just because of American Dad, because of Family Guy, because of, you know, the Cartoon Network having their own shows and they're on in an everyday basis from Monday through Friday, that, that you can't get Toonami on those days anymore. And I think that if you had Toonami from the Monday through Friday slot, you know, only for so much little little less more time little less time than what we have it on Saturday, you're gonna see a mass improvement. I think. I believe. That's my opinion. I think you're gonna see a mass improvement because these are directed to the ten to fifteen year olds. These kids really, you know, they go to school, they come home, they do their homework and they watch T V. While the older you know, the older, the younger adults and the adults like us, the middle aged adults we tend we're busy you know we have friends we have lives we're not a lot of us don't sit here and watch Toonami because we've seen this anime before and we're able to you know grab it on Crunchyroll on whatever site you're using Netflix Hulu you know you have all these streaming sites that you could just you know whenever you want to watch it I wish Toonami would go from the Monday through Fridays, but I under you got to understand as well that Cartoon Network has their net you know shows that has these popular shows. There's a different age that we live in where anime is still struggling. It's I believe it's still struggling. It's gotten popular at moments, but it's not as big as you would hope it to be. I mean. American Dad and Family Guy, this is an American audience. They will love those shows with their crude humor and stuff other than a high-quality storytelling type show like a Girl in Law Gone, like a, you know, a One Piece, like a Inuyasha. I mean, and then those are content to be, those are older shows. So I really think that Toonami, if it were to survive, it would it should go to the Monday and Friday, you know, time slot. I think that's the reason why it's not doing as good as you would hope. But realistically it will never go back to that monday through friday lineup it just won't it will not so but the question really remains do we need tsunami you know do we need tsunami to get the word out to get you know the young people are to future generations to love this material like i said it really the saturday night lineup is really catered to young adults like you know from junior high to high school and middle-aged adults and i don't think that works i don't think it works for saturday night because we all you know want to do something or we just you know we just have we have lives we have lives to live and tsunami i don't think is the you know highest priority on our list even though these are great shows to watch as for you know the younger demographic like i said they're not going to watch these shows on a saturday night not probably because some of the shows are too violent probably because so it's late at night and they all have bedtime. So back, if you want to think about it, you see Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, it was fighting. There was some violence in it, but it wasn't as bad as Dead Man Wonderland. And it wasn't as uh, definitely bodacious as Growing Logon. You know, a lot of those sexiness and stuff. Sex sales, man. Uh, but overall, you know, do we need Toonami? I, I don't think we do. I think when Toonami went offline, a lot of people were sad they were hurt but we move on we tend to move on but i don't think think we need tsunami to be introduced you know for these new generations to anime to get these new generations on board with anime i just don't i think the way to do it is film is streaming and hopefully one of these days you know when you pay for your um, whatever you're subscribed to, like DirecTV or whatever, that this channel is available. Oprah has her own channel. Why can't anime have their own channel instead of you having to buy, you know, a separate package or whatever to get that anime network or whatever it is? So I think those are the three that are more better possibilities to really emulate, you know, get the anime community more uh, growing, other than. Relying on Toonami. I love Toonami. I think they have a fabulous lineup. I think it's great. I think it's, you know, people who do watch it on Saturday nights, who do sit there and watch it. It's awesome. That's great. You're watching really good anime, but I just don't think it's our future. I think it's going to continue struggling in the upcoming years because anime really just is is not as big as we'd hope it to be. At one point, Death Note was huge. At one point, now that Naruto is over, what is going to fill that void? 
One Piece, uh, One Piece is huge in Japan, but it's not as big as, as it is here. It's not big here at all. Well, somewhat, but it's just not as big as Japan has it. Naruto was big. Death Note was big. Um, Pokemon was huge when I was a kid. So what I mean about film as well is live adaptation. I mean, even though a lot of people are moaning and groaning for a Kira live adaptation, even I am like, I don't know if this is going to work. You have the Ghost in the Shell coming out. I, but it can work. If you watch Edge of Tomorrow, it is based off a light novel and manga. Um, all you need is kill. I think it could work if you have, if you're passionate, if you have a passionate director, if you have a, a writing team that could nail it, nail the tone, nail everything about it, but keep, you know, keep it respectful, but keep it as a feature film, as something different. I really think film is the way, is our future. I think this Ghost in the Shell, if it does amazing, then you'll see a lot of anime adaptations. You're going to see Akira come out. You're going to see, you're never going to see like, Another, you know, Naruto and all that because it's just too big, too much material. But you'll see little like Cowboy Bebop. They wanted to make this movie and I think they'll, it'll be a go as long as anime live adaptation is amazing when it's put on screen and it's, you know, it makes money. It has to make money. I, I really want to give, you know, the American directors, whoever's involved, studios a chance to adapt anime and bring it into a general audience because nowadays superhero movies um superhero movies basically marvel dc they're the head honchos i really believe that anime is the next step the next thing amazing storytelling out of this world storytelling look at x machina that has like anime based all over it so i really believe that anime in, in film is going to be able to bring in this new, younger, general audience. And I also believe streaming, like Netflix, Hulu, Crunchyroll, those are, they're already bringing in a lot of people. They're already bringing, you know, introducing a lot of different anime titles, which is great. You don't only have the big ones, you have these other ones who are, that are just truly gems. So that's great as well. And what was the third one I said? I forgot what I said the third one. The third one was... Oh, an anime network. Please. An anime channel would be amazing. Would love it. Love to see it. Just all 24-7 anime. I don't know. I mean, there's something similar like G4. And G4 kind of failed. But I still would love to see it, you know, have a try. And be in every package like your DirecTV or Comcast or whatever. So that's my thoughts on the thing. Do I want Toonami to end? I, I don't. I'm just saying that we don't necessarily need Toonami to bring in this younger audience. And I can see why it struggles over the years. Because it's not what it used to be. The times are not what it used to be. But overall, whatever it is, anime will still continue. Manga will still be bought. And hopefully new generations will appreciate the storytelling. And hopefully generations are inspired to tell storytelling whether they become directors, writers, their own comic, you know, comic book writers, their own manga artists, that they could, you know, evolve the game of anime because I think anime and manga itself it's something that needs to be, you know, it needs to be a little bit more popular than it is right now. And I think our the next generation is going to make that happen. And there's a lot of media now that's evolving that you could make that happen so thank you guys for listening if you like my little rant or whatever i don't want to call it a rant just my thoughts my opinions just uh, like my video please subscribe to my channel because i have a lot other stuff other than the anime and everything uh movie reviews music and stuff so let me know your guys thoughts of i kind of hit the ballpark or not or you disagree with me that's fine if you disagree that is absolutely fine your opinion this is just my opinion so thank you guys for listening and Man, uh, continue watching this channel and anime itself. See you guys.